Welcome to MV160 Engineering Drawing Part 6 Development 1.2 Objective 1.2 Be able to understand special cases of photographic projection. One, normal autographic projections. Normal autographic projections are projected onto the principal plane, that is HP and VP, and that is HP, VP, then that is the principal plane. Profile plane, PP, and that is the profile plane. These planes are 90 degrees to each other. There are some notable views on these planes that are worth noting. These views include true length of an edge, point view of an edge, true shape of a plane surface, edge view of a plane surface. True length point view of, a, of an edge. True length view of an edge is the view in which the length of the image is equal to the actual length of the edge, Const taking into consideration the scale factor to which it has been drawn. The point view of an edge is the view in which the image of the edge the image of the of the edge shrinks to a point true length point view of an edge for views of a line ab here a vertical line ab with a projector from the left side, this also, which also gives us a vertical line, and from a projector from above, that gave a point. With these three views, if we are to read them and understand, correctly understand what they mean, then from these views, the length in the right side view and the length in the left side view in the front view these are true lengths likewise the view of a line AB drawn horizontal and a projection from above also giving a horizontal line and a projection from the one beneath given a point AB. Then reading these three views, that is the front view which is beneath in the middle, the bottom view which is above, and the left side view which is a point view, then deductions that can be made are one the length in the front view, the length in the bottom view, these are true lengths. Let's look at the point AB. That is to the left and then that to the right. These are point views of the line. These views are special cases because from the views, the normal autographic views, the true lengths of these views are, of these edges are provided, and the point view is also provided. True lengths point view of an edge. Let's look at this example. Three views are given. Let us look at our reading to determine 
whether any of them indicate a true length view. We have one in the middle, that is the front view. Then we have the right side view to the left. And we have the top view beneath. Now, from indications, reading a drawing, we obviously know that AB is a true length. Let us now see the relationships that are involved in this true length view. Now, projecting perpendicular to AB in the right side view gives us a true length. Projecting perpendicular also to the line AB in the top view also gave us the true length. Let us look at another example. For a horizontal line AB in one view, now we have the three views. Here the views we have in the middle top is the front view, beneath is the bottom view, and to the left we have the right side view. Now a projection and when we look at analysis of these three views, we can draw the conclusion that AB must be the true length. Let us now look at relationships within. Projecting perpendicular to AB in the front view yielded the top view, which is a true length. Now, let us look from the two examples and draw conclusions from it. We can see that any time a projection is done perpendicular to a line or an edge, the end result is a true length. True length. Let us look at examples of certain views and see whether we have special cases in this situation. Consider the line, the views of the line AB. Here, the views that are considered here, one, that is the top left, which is the front view. Then the bottom view beneath that is the top view. Then the other side to the right of that, we have the left side view. Now, let us look at the respective pro projections based on the conclusion drawn on the last slide. Taking the front view, projecting perpendicular, taking the front view, projecting from above, Of that, the projection is not perpendicular to a line AB in the front view. The result of that is what we have at the bottom view, which is not a true length. Taking a projection of the front view from the left, this again is not perpendicular to a line AB. Therefore, the left side view AB is not a true length. Let us now take a look at the bottom view. For the bottom view, let us have a projector from beneath upwards. This projector is neither perpendic is not perpendicular to a line AB. Therefore, the result of that which is the front view is not a true length view. And taking the left side view, a projection from the right side now, that is also not perpendicular to a line AB, and therefore the front view, which is a result of that projector, is also not a true length. Therefore, there is no true, true length view in any of these three views provided. True shape, edge view of a surface. The true shape view of a plane is a view in which the image of the surface is the actual shape of the, surf of the plane. 
if, it's, if it is drawn to a scale of 1 is to 1, then the sizes of that will also be equal to the actual lengths. The edge view of a plane is the view in which the image of the plane shrinks to an edge. That's a line. Look at a rectangular plane given A, B, C, D. Project, projecting F for the left side view, according to this, let's say it gives us a line, vertical line, A, B, and C, D. Then projecting FV for the top view, this also gave us a horizon, this gave us a horizontal line, B, C, and A, D as the points. Analyzing these three views, that is the front view, the left side view, and the top view, then from knowledge of normal orthographic projections, we will say the front view is a true shape of the, the rectangular plane A, B, C, D. Therefore, the front view is a special case. Likewise, if we look at the left side view, whereby we have the edge now, the plane being shown as an edge, then that is also a special case. Likewise, for the plan, the plane reduces also to a line, an edge view. So the three views here are all special cases. End of part 1.2.